Hello everybody, it's Stephanie again. So I'm super excited because I got this news today. And honestly, let me just, just tell you. So I didn't have any intention of recording a video today. I knew I wanted to give out an update as to what was going on with me and my lupus. But then today I get an email with the results of my blood work. So I was like, oh, perfect time to tell my mom, my dad, my husband, my sister, and the whole world about what's going on. So just to recap, um, I'm Stephanie. I was diagnosed with lupus in 2011 and I started Benlista. It is a um, injection that I take at home about seven, no, I guess almost nine months ago. So it was last December, November, December that I took my first dose and you can actually go to my page and see when I took my first dose like at home by myself. So I decided to share that and so many people have reached out to say, hey Stephanie, Thanks so much. You know, I've been really scared to take this, this shot at home. You know, I enjoy, you know, watching your story and finding out what's going on with you. So I'm back and now I have news. So the thing about this Benlista shot is that um, it takes six months before you can even see if, the, if it's helping. So to be quite honest with you, I was going to tell my husband I'm not using it anymore because I'm not seeing any results. So if you remember, or if you want to go back and see, I had a terrible flare in June, like the end of June, it was bad. And I kept having these fevers every day and I was super exhausted. I couldn't go to work. I didn't feel good. I was extra weak. And I'm like, how is this even freaking possible if I'm on this magic Benlista, right? So anyway, um, I got really sick. I had to go to the ER. They did a lumbar puncture. I, the worst. Well, actually, it wasn't the worst. The thought of a lumbar puncture is worse than it is. Just side note. So they did all these tests. They couldn't find any type of infection. So they decided if you're having these fevers and you're not feeling good, you must be having a lupus flare. Okay, great. So now, mind you, this is like two to three weeks before me and my husband are supposed to go to Europe for a week. Okay, and I've never been across the pond to Europe. So for me, it was a very big deal. And I was like, we've got to get this fixed because my husband's very hands-on. And he's like, if you're not feeling good, we're not going. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to Europe. Lupus will not make me not go to Europe. So I, um, after I got all these tests done, they increased my steroid dose super high. And so I was on 40 milligrams of prednisone. Now for me, that's a lot. Now, I know I talk to some people, they're on 60 consistently, like everybody's story's different, everybody's body's different, but for me, 40 milligrams of prednisone is a lot of prednisone, because I was tapering down at the time to get off. So, just to let you know, for those of you who know about steroids and who don't, it's not something you want to be on long term. Like, I was diagnosed with lupus back in 2011, I've been on prednisone since then. Right. No. So the goal was to taper off. So I literally have been down, I was down to like 7.5 milligrams. I'm like, whoo, we're about to get off the prednisone. And as soon as I started getting lower and lower, that's when this flare came on. So anyway, the flare goes away only because they put me on 40, grams of mill 40 milligrams of prednisone every day. And then we started tapering down. So today is September 4th, and I'm still tapering from that 40 milligrams back in June, July, and now I'm on 15. Um, in two days, I go down to 10 milligrams. So that's just some background information. So I'm still on prednisone. I still take Plaquenil twice a day, 200 milligrams. If you are too, say whoop whoop. Um, and I take Imuran. I take 150 milligrams of that as well. So that's my med list. So Benlista, prednisone, um, Imuran, and some good old Plaquenil, okay? So anyway, the flares, I've been feeling fine. My energy level is fine. I think the only thing that I'm still dealing with is like a lot of hair loss from all these medicines going up and down, but I'll post a video about that soon. And so anyway, I got my blood work back today. Sorry if I'm distracted, the US Open is on and it's a lot. So anyway, I find out that my lab work is in and it is so good. Now mind you, this is the first time that we're seeing lab results as a result of being on the Benlista all this time because it takes six months for your Benlista um, to really kick in for them to read it in the labs. So, you know, I didn't memorize it all, so I just have my laptop here. So there's three things that I'm excited about, and this is just my story, I'd love to hear yours. But for me, one of the things is my hemoglobin, which is a part your blood, um, my blood count levels or red blood cell counts are usually low, and so they say I have anemia associated with lupus. So my hemoglobin is like, 
It's usually super low. I'm about to tell you exactly what it's been. But now it's, it's good again. Hold on, stay with me here. So here it is. Comprehensive, okay, here it is. So my hemoglobin is up, it's 11.6. Now, for some of you, that might not mean anything, but for me, you have to understand that back in February, my hemoglobin was 9.3, which is under the level, and now I'm at 11.6. So now, I am at the point where my hemoglobin is within standard range. <laughs> so then, the other thing I look at is, because my, I think that anemia and like my blood levels being low affects my energy. And I'm super busy, guys. Like, if you just to know a little bit about me, if you want to know more about me, you can follow me on Instagram at Sold with Stephanie. But I'm a pharmacist. I'm also a realtor here in Dallas-Fort Worth, which takes up so much of my time and I love so much. I'm a wife, I'm a sister, my sister just got engaged, so now I'm a matron of honor. I have a lot going on, okay? So for me to not have energy doesn't work for me. <laughs> so my hemoglobin's up, this is good. Still on Ben Lista. So then the other thing that um, they measure to see how your lupus is doing is your double strand DNA. And for those of you with lupus, you've probably seen that test before. But my double strand DNA has been through the roof. And when if it's super high, that means that your disease is really active. So my double strand DNA in February, guys, February, it was 425 was the lab level. Now it's 94. That's good too. So I'm super excited about that. And then the other thing that I look at when they send me my labs, because you know there's so much labs um, that they send over, is my complement levels. And my complement levels also talks about how active your disease is too, okay? So my complement levels are like fantastic. So there's two different complements that we look at with lupus. It's C3 and C4. So I'll just tell you about my C3 because I'm excited about it. My C3 level has been super, super low. So as you want, your range should be between like 83, and this is just a wide range, and this is just me telling you my information, but 83 to 93 is a good range for your complement, your C3 levels to be. And like in February, it was 63. So it was 20 less than it was supposed to be. Now it's 105. Whoa! And then there's the C4. This is the other compliment. Super excited. Stay with me, C4. So my C4 before, you want it to be between 15 and 57. That's like the standard range that my doctor gives. Um, and in February, it was 15. So it was at the very bottom. And now it's 26, so we're moving on up, yes? So I'm super excited because I feel like this is not in vain. Like, I'll be honest, I was at the point where, because Ben Lista is expensive. Now, I will say, I was going to tell my husband, you know, it's clearly not working. Because after I had that flare in June and July, I'm like, how can I be on this super amazing expensive medicine? And I'm having flares like this that come out of nowhere. But now it makes me feel better that I feel like it's working. And I feel like I can stay consistent. So, um, two things I just wanted to introduce in this video that helped me a lot and may help you is number one is this book. It's called The Lupus Book and it's by Daniel J. Wallace. And I literally have had this book since the year I was diagnosed because I will say I am a pharmacist, I am a clinician. However, um, when you're diagnosed and you're the patient, you literally realize you know nothing. And so I knew nothing. So this is, um, it's like my encyclopedia. So when my doctor starts talking about things that I don't even understand, there's an amazing index right here in the back. And you can look up the word that they said and use that word <laughs> to go into the book and get an explanation. Because honestly, sometimes I just don't know what everything means. And it talks about medicine. It talks about the disease. So if you have questions, like I would totally suggest getting this book. It's helped me and it just stays on my shelf. And sometimes I don't touch it for months, but when things get good and I want to see, ooh, compliments and ooh, double strand DNA, what's that mean? This is what I use. The other thing I wanted to say is Ben Lista can be super expensive. I get that. And I recently talked to a young lady that I went to college with and she had never even heard of um, Ben Lista and she didn't know anything about how to get it. And so I told her about the program that they have Go to benlista.com and they have a program available. And if I think you have to have, you have to have, do you have to have commercial insurance? I'm not uber sure. Don't quote me on that. But go to the website and look up um, copay assistance. And I literally have had my Benlista since December 
and I haven't paid a dime for it. It pays up to $11,000 a year for your bin list of the program. And there's paperwork you have to fill out and it's a process, but it literally took me maybe five to 10 days to go through and I still haven't paid for my bin list. Now I will say my 11,000 is about to run out. So this last month, cause it's 11,000 a year, and I started in November, December. So this last month and a half, I may have to pay out of pocket for my bin list. But if the lab work looks like this, then we're gonna get it done. So I'm super excited. I'm feeling good. My energy's good. Um, I feel like this is going in the right direction. I will say the only thing that's bothering me with my lupus is probably my hair loss. Um, but I'll post a video about that. Don't let this wig fool you. <laughs> but um, everything's good. Um, for those of you who reached out and had questions, please keep asking your questions. I'm trying to respond to each and every one of you because I know that feeling of just wanting to talk to somebody who gets it um, because this disease is so confusing and it affects everyone so differently. So it's kind of nice to talk to somebody who can kind of relate, even though mine may be different than yours. So that's all I've got. I feel good. I'm still on Ben Lista. My lab work's getting better. We're going to remain consistent. We're going to remain positive. And I'll update you on what's going on soon. Bye.